Good day everyone, my name is Ruslan and welcome to my YouTube channel. So um, guys, I hope you're good, I hope everything is fine and uh, I hope you enjoy my videos, alright? <laughs> so you know today I have received an image and guys look at how beautiful our steel mesh ceiling is, alright? Look at how aesthetic and how nice it looks. So we are going to be making this inside Revit today, alright? A steel mesh ceiling and uh, you know we are going to be using the masking inside. So um, you know there's a ceiling already present above that and uh, there's a slab above that, alright? So this is sort of three, uh, the third layer from the slab and uh, these are our hanging pendant light, right? So pendant light and beautiful steel mesh ceiling and although in this one it is too much detailed, our one is not going to be too detailed because otherwise um, our system is going to lag and the video won't be fun so you know i've tried to replicate the, the exact same thing that we saw in the picture so this is our store uh, these are the two curtain walls which are embedded into the curtain wall i mean our two curtain doors embedded into the wall and these are our hanging pendant lights this is our ceiling that is our slab and we are going to be using the mass inside to make that right so you know first of all we'll be using two curtain panel based templates for this so the first thing is this is the first template this is the second template let's quickly get started with the first template uh, let's press un as the first thing let's change this to millimeters to decimal bases okay okay let's click on that and let's change the size to 100 by 100 done and now let's click on that let's place a point right here anyway let's go to rectangle let's go to set let's click on that let's go to the point let's um try to press tab and select one of them let's press our uh, five right here uh, let's click on the <coughs> excuse me i'm coughing uh, let's press five light here let's click on the line let's go to create form and it is created now let's press the tab let's try to create uh, select that and for the material you know it is a steel mesh i think i am gonna go for chrome something chromey something shiny and uh, steel chrome plated uh, use rendered appearance okay and our work in our first template is already complete right so nothing hard nothing very difficult now not now let's load this into our uh, family 26 right so family 25 to family 26 and then family 26 to our architectural profile so now in this case let's press un first of all let's change this to millimeters let's go to two decimal places okay okay let's select the profile let's go to and the size we are going to be choosing is going to be 1000 by 1000 uh, let's try to zoom in let's click on that let's go to create solid form let's click on the the i mean the the simple one not the box one and now uh let's try to bring our mouse here tap 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 and uh, no uh tap tap uh yes this is selected now let's go to device surface and uh, guys check this out so you're going to learn a new thing today you know sometimes we have this square that is automatically formed below our pattern and you know i haven't researched it uh, a lot but i you know i've i've been I've spent so much time I mean I haven't researched the solution I haven't found anything and uh, this is a bug right I still have to find out whether it's a bug or it's a function inside of it I mean this solid form appears and how do we change that we can simply change it by uh, changing the size of our, our, of our pattern and it is gonna automatically disappear so you know trust me you know there are, I believe there's not a single YouTube video in which they're gonna tell you this we changed it by simply changing the size and now if we go back to our original size uh, check this out it is not going to show all right so this is a bug okay i think it is uh, i'm still not sure i have to further research this um so anyways this is something completely new that you learned now let's pick a point let's get back to the original topic let's go to rectangle let's go to set let's set that let's go to uh, make our rectangle let's go to modify let's press tab right there and the pro the size of this profile is going to be 40 by 40 um enter let's click on that line let's click on the profile let's go to create form and check this out so our second one is also made and uh, now let's try to click on that let's go for the materials let's go for <laughs> STEE -E. <coughs> excuse me st double e l so metal panel okay let's go for this one if it doesn't look nice it's fine later we're going to change it and the pattern is going to be based on family the previous one that we made so do you guys remember the size of that was 100 mm by uh 100 mm now once that is changed let's go to no pattern and let's go for family 25 and check this out guys so our beautiful uh steel mesh is already completed it is not very detailed because i do not want my system to lag so two of the curtain panel uh, 
panel based um, I mean the jobs on our our templates is done now let's get to this let's go to level one and uh, in fact let's go to our ceiling plan okay so that we can we are able to see this let's go to uh, massing aside let's go to in place mass let's go to okay and let's go to reference let's go to rectangle and uh, let's try to make our our um, design so you guys Uh, yes this is the one and let's divide the surface now let's click on the pattern and uh, do you guys remember the size of that bar was one meters by one meters uh, perfect now let's click on this pattern and let's go to no pattern and it was family what was it it was family 26 now let's load in our family 26 and check this out guys so we are already complete and look at how beautiful it looks we have replicated that exact uh, same thing inside revit today right so this is the beautiful steel mesh and you know i also have a family uh, for example uh, we're going to make the later the other ones later on uh, i mean once your concept is clear and uh, so let me um, let me load out another family which is uh, let's go first of all to massing and size let's go to we do not want to see that and uh, <coughs> excuse me let's go to architecture let's go to components let's go to um to okay let's go to insert let's go to load family let's go to our desktop and i have a, a family for the the top the the hanging rails all right let's go to architecture let's go to complete and this is it right so this is a family that i have found these are those uh, those hanging um, you could say you know those supports those metal supports that we have above our our steel mesh right so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you learned something from it and uh, let's go to our realistic view for a moment and uh, check this out guys so we have replicated that exact same thing inside revit right uh, so check this out these this is the the reference image that we received and this is our steel mesh ceiling inside revit so i'm going to paste the other ones and i'm going to include the final rendered images right take care of yourself have a good day and uh, bye bye